go up turn on everyone okay uh, i'm here today we're showing you for the chocolate tart so first thing for the chocolate tart we're doing a sweet pastry so here the ingredient for the whole eggs for the flour the flour we have a salt also it's inside the flour together in the butter uh, i will prefer your butter cut the small chunk and with the chill temperature and with the icing sugar okay and make sure your icing sugar and the flour you need to sift it okay first thing for doing this sweet pastry uh, for our pastry is quite easy this we call always sweet pastry we are using a rug in method what is meaning rug in method that's mean we are using uh, all the dry ingredient like your flour your flour you need to choose a low protein flour okay if you really don't have a low protein flour you can use the all-purpose flour also can but don't using the high protein because more of the high protein they're using for the bread so icing sugar And the butter so on here you can make it uh, we mix inside the kitchen egg so using a slow speed please if not the flour will become out all everywhere. So make sure when you guys mixing, okay, be slowly until all the flour and the fat both is combined together, become like a sandy texture. okay so after that so you guys can see on here the fat okay and the flour dry ingredient all will be mixed well like a sandy texture like this okay after that then you can start to put all the whole egg inside Also using a slow speed, mix well everything. After mix well the liquid and the dry ingredient, okay, just uh, remove from the kitchen aid. Okay, don't beat too longer time. Okay, you incorporate too much of air. Okay, just mix well like this. So on here, get all your pet, your dough, put inside the the parchment. Sometimes if you feel have some lump, you can use the you can use your hand just to roll it more even. After that, you can using a double parchment. Okay, you can roll it. I will prefer until 2.5 mm. Because if too thick, when later you cut, it's difficult to cutting. If too thin, you don't have a texture for the crispy texture also. So it depends for your size. Because now I'm doing it's like a patty cut two size. So 2.5 will be fine. So
so after that you put inside the chiller or the freezer okay you can let him uh recrystallize the fat again let him more harder easy for you later for working for cutting anything Yes. Hmm. Yes, you can use a sweet pastry making a direct cut. Of course. Okay, because most is this is a same recipe. The chiller. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, we have prepared the ring. So this is after chill. On here, I have a 6, 6 cm and a 3 cm ring. Just cut it with a round cutter. So on here you can see a 6 cm sugar dough. Okay, after that, I need the making a bottom and the base uh, on the top. So one more, this is a 3 cm ring cut on the center. So we can start to put inside the baking tray. So I will prefer you guys using this seal pan. So when you bake out, you more even. <clears throat> okay, this one bake inside the oven. You can use 170. Bake 10 minutes until 12 minutes. Okay, until the color become golden brown. So depend your oven because all oven will be different temperature because all the brand is not same. So the temperature sometimes will be up down. Okay. Okay. Is it possible to teach egg tart one day? Possible to teach egg tart. Uh, this one, we need to depend our chef recipe for this. Okay. Of sure, uh, for sure, we can teach it. Okay. But uh, we need to organize for the next schedule. Okay. Thank you very much. So next, we are doing for the uh, this for the almond cream. So on here, this almond cream, remember we have a three texture for inside. First texture is a sweet pastry. Second texture is the almond cream, it's my more spongy. Okay, a third texture, okay, is your ganache moru. So you have a more creamy, more chocolate. Okay, so on here you have for the almond, raw almond. Okay, also we call it almond powder. You have a whole egg, you have a butter, and you have a sugar. So this method is quite easy. Everything. So first item, get your butter. Your sugar. And your almond powder. Everything put inside, just mix well. Uh, the small tips for you guys. For the butter, you guys can using a room temperature butter because it's more easy to mix well for this recipe for the almond cream, okay? Not for sweet pastry. Sweet pastry, I will prefer you put inside the chiller because you're using a rugged method. And the uh, eggs also, I will prefer you guys using a room temperature eggs, not the chill temperature because it's more easy to emulsify everything together. So on here, you guys can see, just make sure everything, you can slowly, slowly to put your eggs inside.
you can using a medium speed <clears throat> yes if you want to make a chocolate version of the tart, mm -hmm. how much cocoa you have to add? You know, the flour, the flour, the flour. Ah, okay. For like a sweet pastry, if you want to make a chocolate version, okay, you can take out like 10, uh, for our recipe, you can put 10 grams of the cocoa powder inside and take out 10 grams of the low protein flour. Okay, just replace the cocoa powder. Okay, because our cocoa powder will be more drying if you put too much of the cocoa. Uh, the cocoa powder inside is more difficult for you working. The dough will not sticky together. <clears throat> so slowly, slowly to put separate to put your egg inside until everything done. okay also same just mix well to incorporate more air inside if you make it this too fluffy you have a problem for the almond cream after he will bake he will uh will raise up quite a lot but after he cool down he will raise he will sink down okay you become like this shape he won't be flat so like this will be more better for your almond cream just mix well everything so that's why i choosing the room temperature egg and the room temperature butter to mix well so on here, you get the piping bag. We put inside a mold. Of course, depend on you guys. If you're doing in the home, you can using a ring. You can put inside a square ring. So for this almond cream, you can bake inside the oven 170, okay? So after that, 170, you can bake 10 minutes to 12 minutes, same like the sweet pastry, okay? Until golden brown. <coughs> so for next, we're doing a ganache moru. So first thing you, before you prepare the ganache moru, we need something. We need to using some like hand blender. So for this ingredient, okay, for here, all of your chocolate, for your, this dark chocolate, I will prefer you guys using more than 60%. Over here, we're using a Calabar Managasta okay 67 percent so for me you can use it until like 60 to 70 percent will be nice okay if you're using a more lower percentage of the chocolate co so, uh, cocoa solid right the pastry the ganache will come out with more sweeter okay and the second we have a sugar okay we have a milk we have a cream okay on here the cream you guys can using uh for whipping cream you can using a whipping cream of course if you really don't have whipping cream you can using a cooking cream also can no problem you won't be effect too much because this is not for whip up okay and the second we have an egg yolk on here so first thing get all your dark chocolate put inside the jar and for this actually we can see on here it's quite easy this we call cream anglaise cream anglaise actually we also call it english cream okay so on here you can get all your milk <coughs> put 
your cream your sugar and your egg yolk before start with the heat this everything you need to mix well okay mix well the egg yolk with the sugar together yes um, we know the sweet pastry hmm. uh, is it big at 170 degrees celsius yeah medium oven, medium oven. yeah actually this one uh for the sweet pastry you can bake in 170 okay uh depend on you because some of the oven all the oven is not same like i give you an example on here our oven i can use 170 but sometimes you're using the home oven will become more smaller because the heat you reach to the pastry for production more faster so like this i will prefer you guys you can reduce 10 celsius that's been in the home oven i will prefer you guys you can use 160 to baking this okay 160 baking this you can use like now i'm baking 10 minutes after until golden brown normally our uh, all our pastry chef also seeing the color okay check the color will be more uh, get a true answer because on here it's difficult when i'm using a different oven they have uh, some of the different temperature it will be up and down okay so on here you have a cream on glaze on here so this cream on glaze will cook until 85 okay 85 celsius okay so the actual temperature is 85 but i will stop on 83 because your board is still going uh provide the heat so you the temperature will keep going up so i will stop on 83 when i pour on the mixture on here at least okay you have a working time for you he won't be burn your egg or become like a scrambled egg uh for the small tips for you guys if you guys doing a recipe it's quite small i prefer you guys the pot you can using a more smaller pot so it's not easy to burn the production uh the cream on glaze also so it's depend your own uh depend your quite amount so what is the extra whipping cream why two kind of whipping cream uh whipping cream uh actually okay uh, in our pastry, we have a whipping cream, we have a double cream. So this is you guys need to check the ingredient. We you check the milk fat. The milk fat normally thirty five percent is best for doing the pastry. Sometimes you can get some fat is more like example some of the like a double cream they get a milk fat forty percent. But if you're using a more milk fat inside in your production, like for this kind of a small pastry like a sweet pastry, no problem. But if now we are using like a mousse texture then you feel your mousse will become more uh, creamy more fat content when you eat is too much of a fat content inside it will be not um, more cream more smoothy more smooth the texture so i prefer you guys if normally you guys buy you can see the ingredients side they have a milk fat okay milk fat normally we go to 35 percent of course if you go to cooking cream will be different cooking cream we can go to like a 10 percent until 20 percent because we in like Example, a cooking cream, not, sometimes we don't need a lot like, uh, like I'm making a mushroom soup. I don't need a lot of milk fat inside a mushroom soup. So that's why for the cooking cream, they know more is like 10% to 20% of the milk fat. So for me, you guys need to check the milk fat content inside the cream. It is in the ingredient, there is a 500 plus of chocolate. Is it in grams? Ah, all our recipe is gram. And make sure when you guys are making this cream on glaze, this English cream, make sure you stir well, okay? Please using the whisk, then using the fork, because it's easy to burn, become a scrambled egg later, you have a nice breakfast come out. So using a medium heat, slowly to cooking, this on glaze. Now this temperature is 80 Celsius on here. Okay, reach for 83, you can stop the heat. So sometimes, I know some of the 
people they don't have a temperature for checking this so i show you guys another way how you guys checking without the temperature so you can using a wooden spoon or spatula you guys can make it like this okay this when you're making like this he won't be close back the mixture this we call nappet okay so he won't be closing okay this texture that's mean all your protein inside your egg and your cream all this protein is corregulated already so when you corregulate you need this temperature go to 80 celsius above so this will start to corregulate so your this cream will become more thicker so after all done for your cream on glaze everything just pour inside the chocolate So next, we are using a hand blender. Of course, uh, if you don't have a hand blender, you can use a fruit processor also can, but have some bubble, you will be affect the shelf life, won't be like too longer time the shelf life, okay? And second, why always uh, our chef will more using for the hand blender, okay? Or we using for the hand blender or fruit processor, because first, we need to emulsify properly for the, this, we have a milk and we have a fat content inside. This item, if you just mix well, there this, like fat and liquid both is difficult to emulsify together if you want properly to emulsify inside you need give some friction okay you need to using a very fast speed of the hand blender you give it more friction to make this item this tool become one solid bag chef if we do not have uh... 35% of cream, what do you suggest? Do you, suggest? you can, for this recipe, if you don't have 35% of the cream, you can use a cooking cream, okay? I believe in Malaysia, whole of the market, okay, for the grocery shop, it's easy to buy 35%. But you go to the, like, I give you an example, you go to see the anchor cream, you also have, uh, it's very easy to get for the market. Or you can take any double cream. Yeah, you can use double cream for this recipe, you would affect too much. But for whipping cream, you making for mousse, you'll be affect your texture, you more fat content inside. So on here, uh, a bowl. Yeah, thank you. After blend, you can see the ganache come out. The ganache will come out will be very very smooth. So for this, I will put, you guys can put inside the chiller, let him chill for the one hour, okay, at minimum one hour, let the chocolate and the fat recrystallize again. So, at now, all the production is done, we can start to assemble the thing. So, uh, first, I will, uh, remember just now we have a uh, sweet pastry. So this is a sweet pastry just now. I prepared early in this morning. So after that, make sure when you guys bake, you become like this, okay, golden brown, okay? If you're using a stew pan, just now I show you, okay? You can getting this nice lining come out, okay? So after that, for the almond cream, we're doing the same thing. After make, you become like this. Also, check with the color golden brown. Of course, if you guys don't have th that mold, you can use a square ring or anything. After that, you use a cutter to cut back. Okay, this is I prepared for yesterday. So you can see on here, this is the ganache moru. After you guys put inside the chiller, Okay, 
it will have a nice texture for you so we will prepare a 1cm round nozzle Okay, for here, one cm round nozzle, you put all the ganache maru inside. So on here, first we get the base, okay, and the almond cream. Here have a small hole. We can put all this ganache inside to let it stick it on here. Stick on the center. So after that, on here, we need to pipe a small dot. Okay, on here also same. So I apply some cream on this sponge, the sorry, the ganache, a thin layer for sticking later. So after that, this you can cover on the top. After that, we need to chew it in the chiller by overnight. Uh, no, sorry, no need overnight, just one hour is okay. After one hour, you can present put on the plate. Here I have a prepared early on here. So if you see the center, okay, I have a black color here this is a chocolate glaze recipe so uh, you can use any chocolate glaze recipe if you want you can go to the market for ingredient shop you can buy it okay this is with a dark chocolate recipe so after that just do a small garnishing on here Yes. How long can you keep it? Okay, for this all the sweet pastry, right? Okay, normally if for nice texture, uh, one day I just honestly tell you, one day this you keep inside the chiller will be stuck for a bit soggy. Okay, but of course I give you a maximum two day. Okay, after two after a second day you eat still okay, but the texture for this you start a bit soggy already because all of uh, this uh, concept for the tart normally is two day I make, two day I sell. Uh, they won't be like keeping the production of course you can keeping a production for like we're doing a shop we're doing a pastry i can keep the sweet pastry i can keep a separate to keep the sweet pastry on a container with a silica gel so i can keep for one month so after that you can make it a filling put inside the chiller okay for four days so after that when you want to use it okay you can example like this 
okay just make it example the pastry and just sell it just like that okay so on here done so uh enjoy for this chocolate tart okay and and please uh for our youtube we also have our youtube in the youtube channel now so please subscribe and click the bell okay thank you